Hey everyone, well it is uh, supper time on this Saturday night so as you can see we've got some fish over here. These are perch that were uh, caught um, during I think we got them the last camping trip last year and then I'm going to be making some homemade french fries and to batter the fish we're going to be using some uh, shore lunch just original recipe so yeah that's what we're doing and now the french fries I didn't record me cutting them because you know how to cut potatoes but I've been soaking these I'm gonna be soaking by the time I'm done I'll be soaking the french fries for 30 minutes and then I've washed off all the fish and I got them just there I'm gonna pat them dry um, leave them a little moist but I am gonna dip them in egg and then once the 30 minutes is up for the french fries, I'm going to take them out of here. And then I'm going to put them on like a kitchen towel to dry. So, and then I'll show you how I make the french fries. Alright everyone, so I have got the uh, oil heating up to fry the fish. The french fries, I am not preheating the oil and I'll show you that. I did a video on that. Uh, it was about a year ago where I made these. And yeah, so I will not preheat the oil for the french fries, but I'll show you how I do it. All right, so got my egg uh, all battered up there. I only put uh, half of the pack of shore lunch in here in case I don't need it all. So while the oil for the fish is uh, warming up, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw some in here. And instead of putting the batter in another uh, bowl, I'm just gonna do the Ziploc shake. And that'll be a little less messy. Now some of the perch are attached for uh, both sides. So that's good though. That means I don't have to do a bunch of little ones. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some in here and I'll be back when I'm frying. Alright everyone, so I am going to get the french fries going before I put the first batch of fish in. So in this uh, frying pan, or this pan, whatever, there is no oil in there. So I am just going to put the fries in there. Now the fries, I have soaked in water for 30 minutes and then I let them sit on this uh, this kitchen towel for about 30 minutes as well to dry them okay so I'm probably actually going to take some out because I don't want to overcrowd it okay so I've got my uh, layer of fries here and now I'm going to go ahead and put some canola oil in it uh, just enough to cover all the fries. Yes, I know you're probably thinking what, but it works. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat between medium and high. And we're going to fry these for about 20 to 25 minutes. And as the oil is heating, it's going to start to cook the french fries from the inside out. So believe me, it works. I know it doesn't seem like it would, but it does. I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to... Well, the oil for the fish is not quite as hot as I want it, so I'll let that keep going. The fish isn't going to take as long to cook as the french fries will.
All right, so you can see the oil is boiling. Um, so it's cooking up the french fries. I've got the fish going. Let me see. I'll move the camera so you can see the fish. I've got the fish going there. All right, everyone. So this is at the 20 minute mark. And you can see the outside is cooking. It's not, it's not real dark or anything, but it's definitely cooked. So I just set it for five more minutes. We'll go the full 25 minutes. All right, folks. So it has been 25 minutes exactly on the french fries and look how they cook. It's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out now. And some people put them like on a cooling rack where the grease will drip. I'm just going to put them on a cookie sheet with paper towel. Because I find that when you do that, sometimes all the grease doesn't drain off. And the food itself is really greasy. So I'm just going to drain them here. And it's almost perfect timing because I just put the last batch of fish in. So what I'm going to do is take all this out, get Glenn his plate. And I'll finish cooking up the rest. That way I can just sit down comfortably and eat my fish and chips. That was super easy to make homemade french fries. And you don't even need a deep fryer. Alright. Let's get Glenn a plate of food. And I'll be back. All right, everyone. So I just took Glenn his plate. I'm just frying up the last of the fries and the um, fish. So as you can see, uh, we I think the amount of fish we have is just right. And these fries are completely done the way I cooked them. They're good. I salted them as soon as they got out of there. And a lot of you gave advice to salt as soon as stuff comes out, so I salted the fish as well as soon as it got out. These french fries are delicious. And the inside, totally soft. Yep, they're good. And yes, I'm munching on them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish up the frying everything, and then I'll be back with my plate. All right, everyone, there it is, fish and chips. Uh, everything made at home, french fries, why would you buy or ride up frozen fries? These fr french fries are delicious. Glenn, Glenn likes them so much, and I think they're awesome. So the fish came out good. Uh, yeah, fish and chips on this Saturday night, and I'm going to enjoy this. I could already taste this. This is going to be good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate all of your support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.